The Porsche Cayenne was introduced just about a decade ago and was late to the luxury SUV crowd but was one of the prime choices for a stylish luxury performance SUV. That is still true today as you will find that there is plenty to like about the Cayenne and you may even find it to be not only one of the best luxury performance crossovers but one of the best crossovers period. So let's go ahead and check it out and check out this 2016 Porsche Cayenne. Now if you want to tell the difference between a 2016 Cayenne and a 2015 version you really have to start off with the headlights first as they got a pretty big refresh. You now have LED spotlights, four of them, in each headlight and it looks pretty good on the road. I'm a pretty big fan of them. Some of the body panels also got changed for this model year and the mirrors are also quite different too. But overall I'm a pretty big fan of the styling. I think it has an athletic look to it while still being pretty elegant as well. Now here goes the key fob for the Cayenne. Really love the key fob design here. Very high quality looking too. You have your unlock, your lock, and then your power tailgate, and then your panic button, then your Porsche logo is right here too. Now it is the Umber metallic exterior color with smart key access on all four doors. You also do have a beige leather interior, power driver seat with your power recline and power lumbar too, as well as a power thigh extension. Now stepping on inside of the Cayenne here. It's a very lavish interior. One of the nicest interiors I've ever sat in. And the step in height is fairly low too. And what you're hearing there is a 3.6 liter V6. Now you do have a full leather wrapped steering wheel. This is actually one of the fattest steering wheel rims I've ever laid my hands on. But it feels quite nice in your hands. Now coming to your transmission, you have an 8 speed Tiptronic automatic transmission. You also do have manual shiftability or you could do it via the pedal shifters. And then when you put the vehicle into reverse you also do have a rear view camera and the mirrors do tilt down when you put the vehicle into reverse. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the lights and the hazards too. All windows are fully automatic in the Cayenne. And let's go ahead and pop up the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators integrated onto the mirrors. Twenty inch alloy wheels. Visine on headlights with your LED spotlights and LED turn signal indicators and your halogen fogs. You also do have front parking sensors. Love the styling. Now powering the Cayenne here we have a 3.6 liter V6 producing 300 horsepower at 6300 RPM and 295 pound-feet of torque at 3,000 RPM with EPA estimates being a pretty decent 19 in the city and 24 on the highway with 21 being combined. This powertrain does deliver strong acceleration while being decently fuel efficient too. It also is direct injected. Now those for looking higher fuel efficiency will want to go with the diesel model or even the plug-in hybrid variant for the Cayenne. 
Now, competitors of the Cayenne, its biggest competitors are certainly the Mercedes-Benz M-Class as well as the BMW X5. We also do have a roof rack on the top right there. Now coming to the rear you have LED tail lamps with LED turn signal indicators. The tail lights also got restyled for the 2016 model year as well as these rear reflectors and dual exhaust tips too. Very stylish overall. You also do have a rear window wiper with a rear window defroster and an LED third brake light on the top. And like I said, EPA estimates are 19 city, 24 highway. Total vehicle price is $76,725. Of course, all of your full power accessories, power windows, power door locks, and power mirrors. These mirrors also do power fold too. Nice soft touch armrest. And let's go ahead and rev it up. Very nice. Certainly has some good grunt to it. Now as far as build quality and materials go inside of the Cayenne here, it's German. It's excellent in terms of build quality and materials. Nice soft touch places everywhere. Like here on the armrest and on the center console lid. Everything feels solid. It has that German solidity that you would want. And build quality is just excellent. No panel gaps inside of here and all of the plastics inside of here feel very high quality. But overall, build quality and materials are excellent inside of the Cayenne. Now the steering wheel also got a refresh for the 2016 model year and I'm quite loving the updates here. And like I said earlier in the video, I really do love this fat steering wheel rim. And then you have your steering wheel mounted audio controls, Bluetooth phone controls, and then this right here controls your little color display right there, which I will get to later in the video. But I really love how this steering wheel doesn't have a bunch of buttons on it. It's very simple and clean and very stylish looking too. And then you have your cruise control right here. Then your turn signal stock, of course. And then you have intermittent windshield wipers as well. And the steering wheel also does power tilt and telescope. Decent range of adjustment. Now as far as driving dynamics go of the Cayenne, this is a very nimble and very precise crossover here when going around corners and is certainly one of the best handling crossovers period. And it certainly has adequate amounts of power too. And as far as the ride quality goes, the ride is also decently comfortable but it's not overly plush, nothing like a Lexus or a Mercedes-Benz, but it does feel comfortable enough for your daily commute. Now you also do have memory seat settings for two people, a little electronic parking brake right here. Now as far as visibility goes, visibility is okay out of the side glass area. Outward visibility can be a little bit better, and then rearward visibility is a little bit compromised due to that rear window back there. Now as far as seating comfort goes, the seating is very very comfortable. The power thigh extension does certainly help on the thigh support and these seats are very nice, very well bolstered I have to say, especially when going around those twisty corners on a canyon road. These seats will certainly hold you in place 
and I certainly would take this vehicle on a long road trip. I would be pretty comfortable overall. You also do have these pretty classy analog clock right there. Pretty nice. Now one detail I really do love is this little Cayenne logo by the shifter and it's those small little details that make driving a Porsche really a wonderful experience. Now coming to your climate controls, I love how Porsche didn't go with touch sensitive buttons here. They're actually physical buttons that you can move and it's very easy to operate once you get the hang of it. But most people that are not used to your vehicle may not get the hang of it straight off the bat. However, it's very easy to operate. Now you have your temperature controls right here, your fan speeds, and then your different zones, of course. Heated and ventilated front seats as well. And then same with the passenger side too. And then right here you have your defrosters, and then your recycling, and then your downhill assist controls right there too. Now coming to that little toggle switch right there, that's for your on and off road button. And then you have your center differential locking too. It'll actually display up on that little screen right there, show you what mode you're in. It's pretty cool. Then you have your sport mode too, and then your automatic start stop system. So when you come to a complete stop, the vehicle will actually shut off to save fuel. Pretty cool feature, but you can turn it off if you would like. You also do have your traction control off button right there. Coming right there, you have your 12 volt power outlet and then your cup holders. Also, I love how the center console lid feels very, very sturdy. It doesn't creak at all. Very high quality. But you do have pretty small center console storage, but you will find it lined with felt. Very high quality. And then your USB port and your auxiliary input. Auto dimming rear view mirror. And then you have your garage home link right here. And then interior illumination lighting. They are LEDs too. And then you also do have the optional panoramic sunroof on this bad boy. Definitely gives the cabin a much more open, airy feel. And then you have your power sliding shade. Headliner is also nice and plush. Now coming to your main head unit, this isn't one of the most technologically advanced head units I've seen in a vehicle, but it's pretty easy to figure out overall and the rendering is okay too. It is a touchscreen radio by the way. The responsiveness is much better in years past. You do have your AM FM radio for your media sources and then your auxiliary input Bluetooth streaming audio as well and your USB port, all the basic stuff. And then you have your Bluetooth phone controls right here too. Hook up your phone. And then you have your navigation system. You have your previous destinations, your stored destinations, points of interest. And you can enter in the destination by voice. And then when you come to map over here, it gives you your map, shows you your points of interest and everything. You also do have live traffic as well. The rendering is okay. Digital clock is also down there too. Then your optical disk drive is also right here as well. And then this is where you can come to your different sources when you click on the source button right here. You also do have satellite radio and your jukebox. Then you have your sound settings like your bass, treble, balance, fader, etc. And then other information like your traffic messages, the details on the auxiliary location info, various amounts of things. And then you have your car info, which shows you travel time, your integrated compass too, then also your park assist. Various amounts of things. But overall, this touchscreen isn't half bad, but it's certainly not one of the most advanced systems, but it certainly does get the job done. You also do have HD radio on this bad boy too. All the buttons also feel very high quality and pretty well laid out too. 
Now coming to your gauges, it's pretty traditional Porsche here. Don't expect to find anything like a big old digital speedometer, but you do have a digital speedometer, but it's pretty small, I have to say. Um, don't expect to find a big TFT instrument cluster. They kept it pretty traditional here. But coming to that little screen right there, it's basically a little mini head unit. It shows you various amounts of vehicle information. Also shows you what radio station you're, you have on or if you have any other media going on. Then other vehicle information like your coolant temperature. Then your tire pressure monitoring. Trip information. You also do have your digital clock down there and your exterior temperature readout. Your Bluetooth phone. And then a little mini-map, too, that shows you traffic as well. I really do love that little mini-map right there. It's actually pretty cool and actually pretty useful, too. Now, we also do have a Bose surround sound system with 10 speakers around the cabin. And then, also another thing interesting to note is that you do have felt lines on the back of this pocket. Very high quality. Now one thing I really do have to say about the Cayenne is that it does feel pretty snug inside of here, especially when compared to some of its competitors. If you're looking for a more open, airy crossover, this is probably not the one to get. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle. Power tailgate. Now as far as cargo capacity, and the Cayenne goes, this isn't the best crossover if you're looking for the greatest utility, but it certainly isn't that bad. But it's just a little bit limited. The rear seats do fold down to maximize cargo space. We also do have a cargo cover back here too. This carpet is very, very high quality. You also do have a pocket right there, and then a 12 volt power outlet. Now of course build quality and materials do follow through in the rear. Still nice and soft touch everywhere. Now to fold down these rear seats just pull up on this lever and the seats come right down. Easy as that. Now back here, the seats are fairly comfortable and they're pretty supportive too. I can't really complain about thigh support too much since this is the second row. I would certainly sit back here on a long road trip. Very, very comfortable. You also do have dual map pockets, heated rear seats, and then rear air vents too. And rear center armrest with cup holders. Love the panoramic sunroof. And your interior illumination lighting. Headrests are also adjustable as well, even for the middle seat. And we see more of these handlebars back here, too. All right. Powered passenger seat with power recline, power lumbar, and a power thigh extension, too. Glove box compartment, nice and damped, and lined with felt. So the 2016 Porsche Cayenne has plenty to offer on the table with its wide variety of powertrains, athletic personality, and its lavish interior as it makes it one of the best luxury crossovers to date. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.